Oh, oh, kitty, that's no honeybee buzzing around. It's a wasp. Wasp? What's the difference? Let me explain it with an even stingier question. What happens if a wasp stings you? Zoom in. First off, what are wasps? They are flying insects that belong to the same order as bees and ants, called Hymenoptera. Now, while people often confuse wasps with bees, there are some key differences. Unlike fuzzy bees that spend their time collecting pollen, most wasps have smooth, sleek bodies and instead of focusing on flowers, many wasps hunt other insects. Some of the most common types of wasps you might come across are yellow jacket, paper wasps and hornets and out of these, yellow jackets are often the most aggressive stingers. You've probably seen these small black and yellow striped wasps buzzing around garbage cans, picnics or anywhere there's food, especially in late summer and early fall. Here's something interesting. While bees can only sting once because their barbed stingers get stuck in your skin, you can check our video on it. Wasps are different. They have smooth stingers, which means they can sting you multiple times without harming themselves. So unlike a bee that sacrifices itself after stinging, a wasp can keep going if it feels threatened. But why does a wasp sting hurt so much? Well, the wasp's stinger is connected to venom glands that inject venom into your skin. This venom causes that sharp immediate pain you feel. But here's the part that makes it worse. When a wasp stings, it also releases pheromones, kind of like chemical siren that alerts nearby wasps. If you're close to a wasp nest, this can be a big problem because other wasps might swoop in and sting too. So, what happens to your body when you get stung? First, you'll feel that sting, a sharp pain that hits you right away. The area around the sting usually turns red and might start to swell. Some people also feel itching or warm around the site. The good news is, for most people, the pain fades after a few hours and the swelling goes down in a day or two. But things can get more serious if you're allergic to wasp venom. In that case, a sting can trigger anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction. Symptoms of anaphylaxis include difficulty breathing, swelling in the face or throat, dizziness, or a rapid heartbeat. If this happens, it's critical to get medical help right away because it can be life-threatening. Therefore, if someone is allergic to wasp stings, it is recommended always to have an epinephrine auto-injector nearby. This device gives a quick shot of medicine that can help stop a serious allergic reaction. Even after using the EpiPen though, it's really important to get to a hospital ASAP. And for the non-allergic stings, the treatment is simple. First, clean the sting site with soap and water to remove any venom. Applying a cold pack can help reduce swelling and numb the pain. And if the pain persists, over-the-counter painkillers recommended by doctors can also relieve pain and itching. So, there you have it. While a wasp sting isn't exactly fun, it's usually not too dangerous unless you're allergic. 
However, next time you see a wasp buzzing around, give it plenty of space and you'll probably avoid getting stung altogether. Trivia time! Did you know the male wasps don't have stingers? However, male wasps will sometimes act as if they can sting by raising or waving their rear ends in a threatening way. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Feral Almeida. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. No, Kitty. Why did you touch it? Kitty thought it was a bee.